showing y'all how I do my little sleek middle part ponytail or bun or whatever low sleek pony bun <laughs> and I'm so hyped that my hair can finally fit in a ponytail without like super struggle but I'm gonna show you guys how I did it when my hair was not you know fitting so easily um, all I used was some gel some hair ties of course my gorilla snot and water and a scarf to lay down my edges and let's see what else I've been natural for six months now and I transitioned for 11 months I don't know I feel like I'm missing something oh I guess I'll show you what I'm working with here and I did a middle part cuz I don't know I just think middle parts I don't know, I can never really choose between a middle part and a side part. I kind of go back and forth. My boyfriend said he likes middle parts for me though, so. Okay, so make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for further videos. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. So these are just the products that I use. It's a spray bottle full of water, my eco styling gel, a brush, toothbrush for my edges hair ties and my her given hair clip-ins so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray 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 my hair I don't like to work on dry hair and I'm just gonna spray out my hair this is an old um, twist out actually it's the failed twist out and if you have not seen that video yet it will be linked above so yeah I'm just gonna <laughs> what am I doing I used a comb here to separate my hair into two sections but there was no need for a precise Part. I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but just go ahead and separate your hair into two sections just to make it a little easier for us to begin the process. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it up. So now I'm just gonna detangle a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to work through my hair. And when I detangle, I just hold my hair at the roots and just pull through at the back so that I'm not causing any tension at my roots. So now I'm just going to separate this section into another two sections so that I can start applying the gel and getting it nice and smooth and sexy. So now I'm just going to go in with my big behind tub of Eco Styler Gel and I am going to use a decent amount, a lot. And I'm just gonna start smoothing the back of my hair down with the gel. And we're gonna use a lot of gel for this project. This project? What is a school? For this hairstyle. <laughs> so if you're not someone who likes gel, this may not be the style for you. But yeah, I'm just gonna brush through it and try to get it nice and slick and smooth. Honestly, the key to this style is just to have it as slick and smooth as possible. So however much gel you have to use and however much smoothing down you have to do, do it girl. So now let's just clip that part away. And we're going to move on to the next section, just start spraying it again. And I'm pretty much just going to do the same exact thing here as well. Coming through, holding the roots so I don't cause too much tension. And then going to use a lot of gel again to slick it down, smooth it down as much as I possibly can. And I'm going to brush it down and detangle a little bit more. You do not want nappy roots for this because then it will not lay as smooth as, as you would want it to because you want that really slick, sleek look. So now I'm just gonna add this part to the bottom section so that we can begin working on the top section.
so I do just want to point out again the importance of using a comb to comb down the top like the roots of your hair to get it as sleek as possible here I was using both my wide tooth comb to start off and then I went through with my um, rat tail small tooth comb just to really 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 get those roots as smooth as possible and I'm just going to connect that section to the next part and I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side spray it down comb it through brush it down use my small tooth comb to really get those roots nice and flat and slick and then I will put them together I have some hair that's not quite making it into the family, into the, the sleep bun back there, but that's okay. Just go ahead and, and put some extra gel on that and then smooth it down as much as you can. And if need be, go ahead and add some um, bobby pins to that side just to make sure that it, you know, it stays down throughout the day because you know how sometimes the gel be wearing off. So, you know, carry some bobby pins with you, stick them in and uh, make sure you're nice and secure so you won't be looking half crazy. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my handy dandy scarf and sit for about 10-15 minutes, get your makeup on. Oh girl, yes. <laughs> so now here it is. It's looking nice and sleek for the most part. I'm just gonna add my Her Given Hair clip-ins that I got, this is a 14 inch or it's a 16 inch, I don't remember. I actually got these clip-ins before I even big chopped and I wasn't even sure what texture my hair is. So it's not certainly the same exact texture as my hair, but it gets the job done right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it around um, my hair and it gives me a more full look for the occasion that I'm going for. You can always skip this part if you're fine with, you know, having you know, the smaller bun, which is cool. I could have went without it, but I wanted to be a little more dramatic. So yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. Um, I have a low, sleek bun with the middle part, and I finish it off with my Her Given Hair clip-ins. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope this was helpful, guys. Bye.